Hey there, Eagle Eye 1975. This is the first time I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting really pissed off at some of the shit that you're saying. Uh, you're basically pulling this thing of, of well, uh, you're not agreeing with me, therefore you must not be actually listening. Uh, no, dude, we're listening. And we're giving reason... People, many people have given you reasonable arguments against what you're saying. No, no, you're not listening to me. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We haven't straw-manned your argument. Okay, even if based off percentages in the way that people are arguing against what you're saying, their arguments against you still hold true. I know you don't like people bringing up analogies that show how messed up your view is. I know you don't like people drawing parallels to other things. We certainly haven't... Nobody's Godwinned you yet on this. No one's comparing you to Hitler on this. People are leaving reasonable, making reasonable arguments against what you're saying. And you, you are the one that is pretty much putting your fingers in your ears and going la 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 while accusing everyone else of doing that. We understand your argument very well, Eagle Eye. We understand it very well. But we can't even... You've disallowed anyone to even take quotes from what they said to you that you've now straw-manned because you put your video on private. So, wow, I, uh... <laughs> I made quite a, uh, a stir with my last video. There's been a lot of uh, backlash to that video, and I'm here to tell you, shame on all of you. No, shame on you. All of you people who called me a bigot, because I didn't say anything actually bigoted. You did, actually. And when people tried to explain to you where, you stuck your fingers in your ears and said, la, 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 la. You heard bigoted things because... It, calling me a bigot is the equivalent of you guys going, la 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 la, I don't want to hear what you have to say. It's quite ironic that you'd say that. Quite ironic. Because, like, the number one thing that people said was, you're saying all trans people are pedophiles. Actually, that wasn't people's arguments, but we'll never know that because you made it impossible to access those comments anymore. No, I never once said that. Somebody said, well, you implied it. I'm like, no, you took that as the implication because you didn't listen well enough or maybe you're just too damn stupid to hear what words are being said. Or maybe you're just too bigoted on this subject to realize that people are actually arguing valid arguments against what you're saying. And, or maybe, maybe I didn't express it in the best way. Okay, how you express it doesn't make any difference. It's the concepts, it's the points you're making that people disagree with. I was a little rambly and disconnected, disjointed. So I'm going to clarify that a little bit. Um, I mean, even Jim Jesus got it wrong. I don't know what the fuck, you know. Um, the uh, the argument about the sexual predators thing is not one where we're talking about a. Uh, a, an actual transsexual person being a sexual predator. That wasn't a straw man that people were arguing against. And using the their transsexual status to go and perv on people in the opposite gender's bathroom. Also, this isn't about bathrooms solely. It's not solely about bathrooms. It's about any gender segregated type of situation because there may be a nudity in front of other people of the same gender. Everyone already got your point. Re-explaining this doesn't help, man. And I'm, when I talk about gender, I talk about actual biological gender. 
I don't buy into this social construct gender identity thing. Your gender identity, if it's anything other than what you were born as, you're fucked up in the head. People used to say that about homosexuals. Okay? As long as someone isn't actually hurting anyone, what fucking difference does it make? You're messed up in the head, and nobody should cater to that. Why? Like I said, if it doesn't hurt anyone, what difference does it make? I mean, seriously, dude. You know, understand it? Yeah. You know, maybe have some pity? Sure. Or sympathy? Fine. Yeah, I have sympathy that you have a mental disorder. As I said, people used to say the same thing about homosexuals. You know? But cater to it? Help you live your delusion? You have no right to ask me to do that. You have no right to demand that I do that. There are many things that people believe that could be considered delusional. A lot of religious beliefs could be put into that kind of category. Oh, look, I'm talking to my higher power. No, you're just talking to yourself. You know, but as long as people aren't hurting anyone, what difference does it make? And that's not bigoted of me to say that I'm not going to cater to your delusion for you and help you buy into your own delusional worldview. There is no absolute proof that it's delusional. There is no absolute proof that it's not delusional. There is a little bit of proof through studies done on the brain that those that are transgender fit more of the brain patterns of those of the opposite sex. But it's not set in stone yet. But there are studies that show this. There's more proof that these people may not actually be delusional than proof that they are delusional. So there's that. I mean, how many atheists out there would rail against Christians saying, well, I believe in Jesus Christ and you need to help me believe in Jesus Christ by not denying that Jesus Christ exists? Interesting analogy. And it would work for some people like Dakota Hendricks and that bitch who made some video that a lot of people have made video responses to who are say, who's saying that uh, all cis people are transphobic and all white people are racist and all men are sexist and that sort of thing. You know, it might work against those types of people. But for the majority of those that are transgender, uh, that argument doesn't really hold water. Most transgender people just want acceptance. Most transgender people just want to be able to use the bathroom without being harassed. If someone who looks like a woman, but biologically isn't a woman, goes into a men's restroom, there's a great chance of that person being severely harassed. This has happened. Now, if you're saying that that person, uh, you know, it's better that that person get harassed than for you to, uh, to support someone's delusion, you know, you allowing someone to use a fucking restroom is not you supporting a fucking delusion, dude. No, I deny that Jesus Christ is the, your Lord and Savior. Is that bigoted of me? And as far as I'm concerned, there's just as much evidence for Jesus being the Son of God as there is evidence for gender identity being a thing. Whether or not you agree with the studies or not, the studies are out there and you obviously haven't spent any time looking for them. Look up uh, brain studies and trans people. Just just look up that phrase and I'm sure you'll find a number of results. You may not like the results, you may think that the results are bullshit, but there is some science behind some of this. It's not it's not set in stone, it's not absolute, but there is some science being put into this. That's a hell of a lot more science than some idea that Jesus is blah blah fucking blah. That you know that is that it, it's actually no you know what let me backtrack on that. 
Yeah, I understand that gender identity is a thing, just like schizophrenia is a thing. There are people out there that believe all sorts of really weird, whacked out shit. Shit. But I'm not going to cater to it. I'm not going to celebrate it for you. I'm not going to help you live your delusion. Right? I can accept that you are screwed up in the head. And I can have pity for it. And I don't hate you for it. And I'm not scared of you. I'm not, you know, or anything like that. It's just, I'm not going to celebrate it for you. I'm not going to help you celebrate having a mental disorder. And I'm sure as hell not going to want to take the infrastructure of society, all the bathrooms out there and everything, changing them all to unisex, making it all so that all of them are just one single user bathrooms at one time. That's not practical, for one thing. There's a reason stadiums have troughs in them for guys to go pee in. It's you know, it's all, all about the throughput, getting people to get in, do their business, and get out. I argue for co-ed bathrooms. And unisex bathrooms, if it's already a bathroom that only has one toilet in it. Right. But people are conflating all sorts of different issues with this and not addressing the main issue. Now, the, the thing I was talking about with the pedophile thing is that this opens the door. It opens the door and it's like it's you're creating the slope and you're adding the grease to it. The only one making a slippery slope argument is you. To it. You are, it's almost like some people just want to watch the world burn. It's like they're trying to make the slippery slope for perversion to occur, for criminality to occur. Get this through your head, okay? Just get this through your head. Realize this, okay? For years and years and years, if someone, if some guy who wants to see women in, in positions of where they'd be peeing or shitting, if they really wanted to go into a woman's restroom and they want to dress convincingly as a woman and they get they pass as a woman and they want to bring a camera in, this has been happening for years. But guess what? This isn't an epidemic. You're the one doing the slippery slope argument that it'll turn into some epidemic. It's not an epidemic now. It won't be an epidemic if they actually allow those who for whatever reason, consider themselves the opposite gender, it, it's, it's not going to change any of this. It's not going to, if, if it increases the amount of this, it's going to be fucking negligible. My God, dude. I'm not saying that the transsexual people are the criminals. I'm saying that by allowing transsexual people to go into whatever com bathroom they feel comfortable in, all it takes is for some pervert to say, I feel comfortable in that bathroom that has people of the gender that I, you know, would really like to see naked. And, go, you know, and I'm not talking about bathrooms. This is not just about bathrooms. The bathroom thing is the camel's nose under the tent, because if you allow it for bathrooms, you have to allow it for changing rooms and locker rooms and stuff. So you go to, you go to a swimming pool, people are getting fully naked in front of other people. And as I said, and many others had argued against you with, what about gay men? Are you going to dis? Are you going to basically say that we shouldn't allow gay men to use uh, what straight men's bathrooms because they might want to look at guys? Oh, gay men can't use straight men's locker rooms because they might look. Give me a break, dude. Give me a break, and don't even try to pass this off as oh, that's that's not a valid argument. It's a totally valid argument. It's a direct parallel, dude. It's a direct fucking parallel. Stop being so fucking obtuse. To change into their swimming suits, right? In in uh, in class, uh, in my I, I took swimming in high school. You know, the locker room there is open. Yeah, there's like little alcoves where there's lockers and stuff. And you could hide with, you know, but you couldn't hide for good. And, you know, everybody knows this is true. Everybody knows this is true. And the people that deny it and whitewash it or dance around it are doing so because it doesn't fit their narrative. 
and you refuse to look at the fact that gay men or or lesbians could be doing this same thing all the time and oh but it doesn't match your narrative therefore it's an invalid argument no it's not an invalid argument against what you're saying okay we as a society need to get over this this fear of the fucking human body you know why do you think that i used to make most of my videos uh nude here look at my tits you know it's to desensitize people to the human body because we need to get over this shit and here you are shoving forth the same traditional religious based mindset while you complain about people who you th that about people who are delusional who shove forth this religious shit yet you're going to shove forth the same dogma that they are out of some irrational fear oh no a man saw a woman naked oh no oh no it's the end of the world no dude no there it is. now kazoom asked a question about like uh well what about gay people being in the men's bathroom well we have no control over that and there's nothing that we can do to stop that it's kind of like yes there is a you know that can be a problem yes it's going to happen but there no there's really nothing we can do about it there's no way for us to say you know gay people have to be off there on their own and you can't really do anything about it with with trans people either unless you start harassing people because they uh, uh, harassing women who look masculine or harassing men who look feminine that's the only way that that you're going to stop this sort of thing you're saying you think that's a good thing should we go around harassing people who don't look feminine or masculine enough listen to yourself dude this is where your prince you're, you're letting your principles override reality but if you're born male we know you're born male by the time people are adults sometimes you can't tell why would you want to add that confusion why would you want to add to that uh possibility you know it's, it's like well we can't prevent this this is an argument from perfection fallacy uh, perfectionist argument you know we can't stop this other thing from happening so we should allow this other thing to happen as well we can't stop victimization here so we have to allow victimization there what once it becomes an issue in general once it becomes a talking point you have to choose one side or the other and either side is going to have problems I like to side on the side of freedom. That's what I thought you liked to side on, being this libertarian mindset thing that you've got going on. But apparently on this issue, you side with religious fundamentalism. Okay? If you side on the side of not letting them do that, then we're going to start judging people for the way they look. We're going to judge women for not looking feminine enough, for not wearing enough makeup, for not wearing clothing that looks accor more according to what society tells them they're supposed to wear. That's what's going to happen, dude. Look at reality, dude. Look at it. What? Hold on. All right, so anyway, you know... You're basically, you know, arguing that because of this thing that is undesirable is already happening, we should open the door for other people to do this thing that's undesirable to other people as well. You know, so and Kazum, honestly, so much for minimizing harm. That's what I'm saying about your position. You don't seem to realize the reality of what your position does. You do this on a lot of the, 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 the these principles you seem to hold so high. You don't care what the carnage of it is, figuratively or literally. You don't care. Again, if what if if people shove forth what you're saying should be done. We will have people being judged for their looks, for not looking like a man enough, or not looking like a woman enough. You'll tax the rich, you know, because, you know, it doesn't harm them that much, and the, the good, you know, weighing the good and the bad. You know, be consistent with yourself, man. 
you know, you want to minimize harm, you shouldn't want to open the door for pedophiles and, and, and uh, perverts, men who claim to be transgender but who aren't actually transgender, you're opening the door, you're giving them a way to get into that environment that they have been previously barred from carte blanche, or not carte blanche, uh, you know, totally. You're acting like this is some sort of epidemic or that it's going to turn into some epidemic. Listen to yourself, dude. You might as well be wearing your fucking tinfoil hat. Totally. Total, total, total ban. No men in the girls' bathroom, right? No men in the girls' changing room, right? But now you're saying, well, we should allow that because, hell, it happens in men's bathrooms with gay men looking at other men, that you know, straight men that... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is happening. And we can't stop that, but we can stop this. I'm out. I'm out. Um, I'm not going to watch 20 more minutes and do responses to 20 more minutes of this. You've rambled on way too long. You made your position very clear in your first video. People argued valid arguments against what you were saying. But you wanted to put your fingers in your ears and go la 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 while claiming that's what everyone else is doing to you. Okay, I'm done. If you said anything uh, more relevant beyond this point, you know, you know, figure out how to how to make your videos a little bit shorter. Okay, 40 fucking minutes is too goddamn long. I'm out.